so we've done the metro line and now we're on the train proper going to Barangaroo or Milsons Point. We're going to Barangaroo. I have to say guys, I'm not feeling as anxious as uh, I thought it would be. I'm doing pretty well actually. Um, I guess it's just one of those things again, you just got to get out there and do it and you know, have the support from people around you and away you go. So hopefully get some good filming of the city and see how we go, but I'm feeling pretty good. Always look after teammate. There's not a thing that I would change Cause you're amazing Why? Going on the train and then walking off Going down the first few steps was a bit um, hair raising but here we are walking on to Barangaroo so onwards and upwards as they say Well survived the train and we're going to Barangaroo just walking along it's good fun for good might do some uh, exploring eh as a little tourist here we go Yeah, so obviously coming into the city and uh, walking around is really good for the anxiety, etc. Because you're walking, you're moving around, and you've got your heart rate at a certain level. It maintains the whole time you're breathing. Your breathing's consistent, so it helps you calm down. I feel really good now. I'm really relaxed and just enjoying um, walking around and enjoying the scenery. So, you know, it's one of the hardest things you can do is to you know, have to get up off your ass and do these things, but sometimes, you know, getting up and getting out there is probably the best thing for it. Um, these people are waving the wrong camera. Um, <laughs> it's around the wrong way. Yeah, you got to come over this side. Hi. Hey, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> hold on, you got to come this way. Yeah. Friendly Sydney side. Hi. There you go. <laughs> You're amazing Just the way you Just uh, stopped on a little walk here at the rocks, and what's interesting is I, um, this stage, I tend to get really antsy. I just want to keep going, so just taking a conscious effort to breathe and slow it all down, and just really observe all the different things around the buildings, just people walking around, enjoying the place, the different signs, really focusing on the detail, and just trying to slow it all down and relax. And you know, oh, I'm not in a hurry. You don't have to go anywhere, so. Hopefully I can continue to do that and that's certainly going to help with the anxiety etc and you know slowing it down appreciating what we've got around us and you know that's part of what we've got to continue. I'll be able to try and get out like this maybe once once a week I think I think maybe if I can get out once a week like this and just go for a walk and spend a couple of hours just enjoying the scenery of things and we've got to work on unfortunately um, just looking at people climbing the harbour bridge and one of the other anxieties that I have is um, a massive fear of heights, so I don't know, maybe 2020 should be the year I um, get up there and try and give that a, a crack. Getting so daring, even trying out the Sydney Light Mail. If she'd let me, her laugh, her laugh, she hates but I think it's so sexy, she's so beautiful. And I tell her every day Oh, you know, you know, you know I never ask to survive 
Well, survived, had really good fun today, faced a lot of different situations, and even caught the light rail. So I'm gonna to say today's been a success for me. May seem trivial to a lot of people, but this is what people with social anxiety or anxiety in general can face all the time. So just gotta get out there and have a good crack.